Alright guys, welcome to episode 9. Now, as you can see here, something has happened in between episodes. I wasn't go I was just going to attack this stronghold, but um he's kind of attacked me and um I don't know, here's the point in our, my let's play where usually I decide should I video myself defending or should I just video myself attacking? Do you want to see all the footage or not? And so I'm thinking, are you getting impatient with me just playing single battles? I mean, that guy F you forever, whatever you call him. You said that you want to see me take a stronghold, so should I just skip this? Well, I don't really know. So what I thought I would do is, I will play it, and I will record, and if it's over 10-15 minutes, I just won't put it on. And I'll just skip this, and then I'll do the uh, stronghold straight afterwards. It's, the stronghold is going to be a number of episodes. But, um, oops, wrong button. Haha! <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> I didn't actually mean to click off to resolve there. I meant to fight it. Oh, and he's attacking me again here. That's really weird. Okay. So, this has not gone strange. I'm kind of out to my death. I do not know what's going on at this point. But Chaos have attacked me as well. And I'm thinking... I'm just going to have to fight this one. But hopefully it'll be fast. If episode 9 suddenly skips to me attacking the stronghold, that'll be because I didn't bother putting this online. <laughs> but I should be. Now, I'm trying not to shout this episode, because it is the middle of the night, actually. And, um, the family are asleep, so shh. But, um, I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure when, I'm, when we're playing, I'm just going to get carried away and I'm going to be shouting my head off and they're going to have to tell me to be quiet because they're trying to sleep. But anyway, here we go. Okay, so I don't really know what's going on here. Alright, oh, okay, that's fine. What you'll find at this point is that I've already found his base because he starts off near mine. And because I've been playing this campaign before, I know that there's going to be a second enemy down here. He's going to bite his time and then attack me with multiple bad, bad, big bad units. So, and you think, do I have vehicle depots? Yes, I do. So, I think already I'm going to be going for. Oh dear. So, as you can see, my defense is taking a bit of a battering. I'm going to be going for Hellhounds because he doesn't have any anti tank units really. And I'll give my command squad that's good. So, um. Upgrading my command squad as fast as possible. Getting my tech priests out of the way. All this kind of stuff. And I'm just trying to tech up and just carry on where I left off from last time I was attacking this place. I do not remember it because it was quite a while ago. Probably episode 1 or 2 or something. As you can see though, he's he's not really attacking me. But um, I think I'm going to take his vehicle depot because it's time I did. And, um, Second hell, maybe no, I need more generators. So I'll be building the second generator here. I should really get my um oh. This is what hellhounds are very good against. Just watch them against this. Come on. Okay, he doesn't do want to. Never mind. You have to find out some other time. I have to get my command squad and kill them. Oh no, the turrets did it for me. He's destroying my base. And he has a defiler, so instantly I'm gonna think in, okay, Sentinel is dead. And so I've got my sentinel on the go. He's got a second defiler, so that was actually just in time. I'm going to move my hellhand out of the way because of that. And then I've got my second one. I'm going to be getting my tactical control on the go so I can upgrade my squads. I'm thinking a couple of heavy weapons seem to give me more anti-vehicle anti power. And I don't know what happened to my hellhand. Here it is here. So I'll be using that to destroy the defiler. As you can see, it's doing really well. I mean, you know, if I'd had one of those last battle, when I'd been doing the time attack, I'd have done it in under five minutes, I'm sure. Which is just a real shame, really, because um, it did take quite a long time. And that was really because of the fact that I didn't have a sentinel. I think I only really need one. Now, only thing at the moment, where are my tech priests? Here's one, so I'm just going to be building some more generators as well. They really don't have enough at this point. So I've, I've, I've held him off now. Oh, that's my command squad dead. I've held him off. And so now, because he's attacking, he's going to be gaining up forces really quickly. So at this point, I need to go on the offensive, and I need to chase him back to his base, and take out at least one enemy as early as possible in order so that I can have the advantage in the later game. Because once you play Dark Sage, you'll realize that this is really needed in order to get anywhere in defending. You have to play really offensively. Just wipe him out before he can get himself a good defense up. So as you can see, that's kind of what I'm doing, and it's going quite well. I got my tactical control. I'm going to be getting some upgrades here, just you know, general stuff. 
maybe a second one of these in order to get my level up, and then I'm going to get another Hellhound, and I'm going to give you anti. Oh, I don't have enough. Okay, got, there go. got some more anti-vehicle power just so that in case he, the other AI attacks me, see I've got two, then um, I'll be able to take him out without the Sentinel. Sentinels are really useful. You know, um, if you can use one correctly, if you can get a correct micro, there's Starcraft term. If you get a correct micro right, then you can take out. You could take out. Uh, you can take out loads of one Sentinel. Just keep him surviving because he can move so fast. And so my defenses here are really good here, really. And um, he appears to be doing a little bit better, but I'm going to be sending my Hellhound off to destroy his base at the moment anyway, because that's what they're good at. But other than that, really, we're doing fine. So I'll be getting this res targeting resolution, is called? Yep. That way I'll be able to get my double grenade damage in a second. But until then, I'll just be getting up my Hellhounds, and then once I've got like four or five, then I'll be able to take the enemy. The one down there, too. One up here. See that cultists are really awful. They're the chaos basic scout unit, and they're just not good against anything. Let me just check see where the enemy is. Where do you think his base is? Let's try here. Yep, I was right. Ha! <laughs> I love being right. So um, as you can see, my defenses are now very good. I've got two anti vehicle, two anti infantry, and I'm thinking I might get a third one. Let's go for it. And then this enemy is just about to be destroyed. And I am losing points, unfortunately. But, um, you know, that's the thing about defending is you have to kind of make sacrifices early on in order to build up your forces as quickly as possible. And then you have to move in. That's not what I said earlier. I said to move offensively, so I'm going to contradict myself. <laughs> um, I tell you, you have to move defensively, offensively, whatever you call it. And um, you just have to build as much units. Forget about defending yourself. Just build as many units as possible in the hope that, um, right, see so yeah, at this point I'd be setting up so I can take out his defiler, but he seems to have seen the fact that, um, you haven't set up, have you? No! Oh dear, man. Misclick. See, a misclick like that can really destroy you because those, um, sorry. I was concentrating. Those heavy weapons seem, you need to be careful with them. In moments like that, you really begin to notice why that become really annoying. For some reason, it doesn't seem to be doing much damage. They're not attacking the Defiler. Attack the Defiler. Okay, you know what, I'm going to have to... Um, I don't know what I'm going to do in this situation, actually. That's all I am going to do. I'm going to make sacrifices for the greater good and just forget about them. I'm getting another two Sentinels, so... Just in case, really. And um, I just heard someone saying they've been overrun, not too good. I'm going to get some commissar, I'm going to get some mass infantry. Just because that's... Why am I not... Oh, sorry, I'm getting all these misclicks today. I'm not sure what's going on. So, um... Good, I got my sentinel. I don't know where it is, but I've got one. <laughs> Here it is. And, yep, it's doing its job well, and that's it, destroyed. So, I kind of defeated him just there. That was extremely close, but, um... That one sentinel will be able to destroy the other one quite easily and oh dear. So as you can see in this situation, um, he's destroyed my sentinel for whatever reason, either that or I've moved it. And um, because of that, I now I'm kinda stuffed over there. That guy survived. I didn't think he would, but he did. So I'm moving up my hand again. I think this AI is the strongest at this point, so I'm gonna be moving forward against this one. And just general build. I'm gonna also be building up my infantry so that um, while my vehicles hold them off and take all the burden of the damage. I lost all my heavy weapon teams, although there's only two, so that's not very much. Bit of a shame, really. But um, as you can see, three hellhounds they're very good because they do quite a lot of damage when you mass them, or when you get enough of them anyway. And um, yeah, that's it. He got old. So that's it. Sentinel kicking ass there. Got him. And so, as you can see, he's going to be building another one. So I'm going to have the sentinel ready so that when I get pinged, I can simply just make another one. And um, I'll be building another one of these because I think I have got a number stored up now. Yep. So that way, as soon as I finish my third depot, then I'll have a huge army, considering the length I've been playing. This is going quite well. I think I will put it online. Unless, of course, the camera is not recording for whatever reason. Other than that, ours is going great. So, um... 
Yep, he's got obliterators. I didn't think he would be that far at the tech tree. But that basically means I'm not going to take him right now at this minute. I think I am going to though sacrifice my um, Hellhound for the greater good. Let's we'll see if he can destroy it before he gets killed himself. No, okay, this guy's dead. Yeah, but he might make it, you never know. This is really quite close and he managed it. Well done, Hellhound. We just see that. One Hellhound took up the entire enemy base. That was just epic. And I'm actually shivering with excitement to that. That went really well. <laughs> Look at that. So that was one Sentinel, one Hellhound took out an entire enemy base against Obliterators. Obliterators are the... They're basically the heavier tech units. Obliterators are the kind of things you don't want to be attacked by when you all you've got is your lower vehicles. Obliterator tech, you know, they're equivalent of um, Lemon Rosses in class anyway. But now I've only got one AI to contend with, so I'm going to win this really. So really, all I'm going to do is I'm going to tech up, so the next time I get attacked, he's really going to feel the pain. So um, I don't need to repair anything because I'll have everything back when I've killed them. All everything will be repaired, and also I think I'm going to be. Oh, Christ, it's fine. Alright, so, as you can see, when you've got mass Guardsmen, you really do begin to bring in the pain, especially when you've got them with grenade launchers, although I haven't even got that research yet, yet already they're doing a lot of damage, they've all got it now. My command squad, they're just, you know, doing alright here, and he doesn't really have any men, he's probably saving up for more obliterators, but they're going to get killed very quickly, because I just simply have way too many men for him. And I've also got tons of money now, 3,700, that's pretty close to Facebook money. I still own most of my points, usually you do lose your outer points, and because I was defending and I was kind of rushing because I wanted to finish the battle quickly, I have not bothered to capture any more. But um, I have got some turrets in the go, so that's good for me. There you go, my research is complete, so the grenade launchers do twice damage now, and well, probably you can actually see the difference already. There's his obliterators, but it's not going to be enough because he's going to be killed already. So let me see. I'm at the moment I'm just, just destroying his base and there's his obliterators. You can see in close combat they're not nearly as good as in range, so my command squad has kinda of got him right where he wants him. And other than that, all my rest of my units are targeting the base and well that's in there. I think I'll just do that just as overkill. Whew, so there you go, that was the end of that defense. I lost my Hellhound bodyguard, but I won. I got a war gear for a defense and I preserved my Kaskarin. Now, for this war gear, I could go for this to give you a better overall requisite, or I could go for this, giving you a Kaskrim bodyguard. I'll go for this because I think that's kind of quite um, characterful, because I've always loved to have my bodyguard Kaskrim and my Kaskrim and my command squad. It, it isn't quite as powerful as some other combinations, but sometimes, you know, you have to go for class. So I think I'm just going to check the timing, and if I've only been going for five minutes, then I might... Um, I might attack the Necron base yet. And if I do, then he won't bother taking this place here. So I need to do it the first time. Let me just check my commander's bodyguard. He does have a Sentinel now. I bought it. Don't have the Hellhound, but really you don't need it. It's not as essential as a Sentinel. If you've got one Sentinel in your bodyguard, you can handle much more than if you've got one Hellhound. Simply because, um, use it correctly, you can take out many vehicles while your other units are soaking up pain. So anyway, excuse me just a second, I'll be right back, or I won't be. In which case, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.